What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited. I literally dropped all of my plans for today because I got this in the mail. You don't know what these are. These are the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty ones. I am so excited about these. I feel like I knew it was a matter of time that e.l.f. was going to drop these because they have just been coming out with like the best dupes and obviously the Charlotte Tilbury beauty wands are very very popular. I love them very much especially the blushes but e.l.f. really comes out with some good stuff so I cannot wait to test these out today. I also have the new little e.l.f. American Eagle collection so I thought we could just do like a full face of like testing new e.l.f. products. So we'll test some of these new products and obviously the Halo Glow Beauty ones as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first I'm going to give you a little breakdown on these puppies. So for the beauty ones, they gave us contours, they gave us blushes, and they gave us highlights. There are five different contour shades, which right off the bat, amazing because Charlotte Tilbury, I believe only has two different shades in her contour one. So they gave us five different shades. I believe it's fair light, light medium, medium tan, tan deep, and deep rich. They're all gonna retail for $9. And that's gonna go for the contour, the blush, and the highlights. Now, one thing I immediately realized when I saw these and took them out is that they are a lot smaller than the Charlotte Tilbury ones. For reference, you can see a Charlotte Tilbury right here, e.l.f. right here. So Charlotte Tilbury looks way bigger, but when you actually look, the amount of product they have is almost the same. So you're not really getting any less product in the e.l.f. one. So I was like, oh my goodness. Um, Cause obviously when something comes at a cheaper price point, a lot of times you want to look and see, okay, but am I getting way less product? But you're really not. Um, with the Charlotte Tilbury ones, you get 0.4 fluid ounces. And with the e.l.f. ones, you're getting 0.33 fluid ounces. So very, very similar and obviously pricing way different. I believe the Charlotte Tilbury ones are $39. Actually, no, they're $42. So they're even more than I thought. So yeah, huge difference in price right off the bat. And also we are getting more shades, like I said, in the e.l.f. For blushes, there are four different blushes. And for highlights, there are three different highlights. So lots of different shades and everything to test. I'm super excited. These launched on e.l.f.'s website on Friday and they're supposed to launch at Ulta today. And then it said other retailers will be coming soon. It's actually really funny because they leaked last week, I think like on Tuesday and some Ultas were putting them out early. And I went to four different Ultas. I literally spent my day driving all around to all these different Ultas to see like if any of them had them out early yet and none of them did, of course, my luck because I wanted to get this video up ASAP for you guys. So I actually ordered them on Elf's website on Friday when they launched and then now they sent them to me in PR, which I'm very grateful for. But regardless, we're testing them out because I have not been this excited about a makeup launch in a while. So that's the nitty gritty on them. So let's go in and swatch the contour shades first. So I have three different ones here. I have Fair Light first, which I'll show you guys. This is what the little applicator looks like. So again, it's a little bit smaller than Charlotte Tilbury. This is fair light. I'll put it just on my hand so you guys can see. Definitely very cool tone. So good to contour with because that's typically what you want for a contour is something more cool tone to simulate like a shadow on the face. Now let's go in with light medium next. Light medium is right there. This one is actually a little bit more warm toned. And then I have medium tan, which is right there. So those are the three lightest. And there are two more shades that are deeper. So we're gonna go in the contour first. I'm gonna use shade light medium. I feel like that will probably be best for me. I'm gonna do three dots and let's go in and blend. Okay, literally blends out in five seconds. I mean, you guys saw that like in real life, it blends so easily, which is incredible because I like the Flower Beauty one. That one's another drugstore alternative, but that one definitely dries very quick. So you have to go immediately and blend it out where this one, I kind of took my sweet time. I like grabbed a mirror and everything before I blended it while it sat on my face and it still blended out super flawlessly and easily. So very, very nice. Let's do the other side as well and just contour out our skin. Elf is just, I don't know how they do it. Like they create great products and then they don't really charge a lot for them. And I'm just like, <laughs> Why can't every brand do it? I don't know. These are beautiful. And I think if you have a similar like skin tone to me, light medium would be a good bet shade wise. All right, let's do the blushes now. I have three of them. These are also gonna retail for $9. This one is the shade Candlelit. So I believe this one is the lightest one. 
It's like a peachy. I squeezed out way too much of it, but that is beautiful. Then we have Rose Usle. This one is so stunning. I love that. A little more berry, like pinky toned. And then we have Berry Radiant. This one is the darkest one that I have and so, so pretty. I tried the Rose Usle in my TikTok video. So I'm gonna try the two other blushes in my YouTube. So if you wanna see this one, go to my TikTok or my reels at Kelly Strack Official and you'll see me apply this one, but I wanna apply like a different one so we can see how they all look. So I'll do one on one cheek, one on the other. So the darkest and the lightest. So let's do the darker one first. This is Berry Radiant. Go in and do two dots and see. Let's blend her out. Okay, I feel like I could use more of this one actually. But I was nervous since it was like a little bit darker. This one, I feel like it, it's blending, but it doesn't blend as flawlessly as the contour did. This shade specifically where I didn't see that really with the Rose You Slay when I applied that one in my TikTok. This one definitely still blends it out. I just had to work at it a little bit more where like the contour blended out in like five seconds. I feel like I'm almost being nitpicky with it though, just because it is really good. I will absolutely give it that, but I just want to make sure I cover all my bases and tell you all everything. Let's try candle lit over on this side. I'm gonna apply a little bit more cause this shade is light. So like three dots and let's go in and blend this one. Okay, yes, definitely much lighter. See this one, I feel like blended just fine. So maybe it's just this shade, very radiant. I don't know. This one blends it out completely fine. It is definitely very light. So I feel like on me, I wouldn't use it as much. Let me go in with some more and see if we can build it up. Like maybe I would more so use this as like a topper if I wanted to. Oh, wait. But when you build it up though, if you just want something very subtle, the finish that it gives is really what is like stunning because it is so glowy. Okay, wait. Never mind. I was gonna say that I probably wouldn't use this shade because I thought it was too light. I did have to use a decent amount of it to get it to show up a little bit more, but that is so pretty. And I feel like honestly with this, it's like, would you even need highlight? Like probably not. Even this one, which I put way less of it on, still really, really glowy. Like I don't have any highlight on my skin and they're already giving such a glow. Definitely very, very pretty. Formula, everything. Really, really like that. Let me know which blush you guys like better. I feel like they're good for different reasons. Like this one, if I want a more like pigmented, like boom, look at my blush, she's perfect for that. Where if I want a more subtle everyday, this one's really nice too. It's like, is she wearing blush? Is she just glowing from within? We don't know, you know? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, now we have the highlights. I have all three of them. So let's go in and see. First we have champagne, which this one is the lightest one, which I will put on right there. Very pretty, like a very icy pearlescent. Then we have rose quartz. So this one is more of like a rosy, more pink undertoned, still really, really pretty. And then we have a liquid gold, which is your classic gold, which is right there. Very, very pretty. Liquid gold for me, I think would be a little bit too deep for my skin tone. So I'm gonna use the two lighter ones. I'll do one on each side so we can see. But for darker skin tones, I think liquid gold would be really, really beautiful. It looks stunning. When it comes to liquid highlights like this, I always find my fingers just work best to apply. So that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll do the lighter one on the lighter blush side. So that, did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh, it was a car outside. Sorry about that. Also, I know with my background, so many of you guys are like, where are you? What is this? I'm in Florida right now. I'm going back to New Jersey this week. So this is probably gonna be the last video you're gonna see with this background. And if you like my background with the windows much better, it's coming. I just have a very makeshift filming area here. My old background is coming back very soon if you're not a fan of this one, I know. And there won't be loud cars like that. But anyways, all right, let's do this. Champagne campaign is what it is called. Three dots. Let's blend. Ooh. Okay, I thought this one was gonna be too light, honestly, because sometimes when highlights are too light, it's like too icy and I don't like them, but this is very pretty. And it just morphed into that blush and into my foundation too, which I have underneath everything. It's not eating at it, which that's always my biggest thing when it comes to like cream liquid products like this is you wanna make sure they layer well over other products instead of like eating through your foundation and the other products that you have and leaving you with this weird patchiness. This one just like blended like butter into everything else, which is so nice. I did not put powder on though, so do keep that in mind. You wanna put all your liquids on first, then do powder, um, but that looks beautiful. Now let's use rose quartz on the other side and go in with this. This one again is more pink toned and you will see, I actually like the other one, like the coloring of the other one better. I would say formula 
on them pretty much the same. It's the color that's different. This one is definitely pretty. It has that more like pinky undertone to it, but I think this one is more flattering on my skin tone. So more of like a personal preference thing, but let me know what you guys think down below. Either way, stunning. And I also feel like because the blushes are so glowy too, it's like blending in with the blushes and just ultra glowy. In my humble opinion, e.l.f. knocked it out of the park on these. I mean, they are really, really good. They're under 10 bucks. They look really nice on the skin. They blended really easily. Aside from that one blush that I felt didn't blend as nicely as some of the others, but these are gonna be like a big, big favorite. Like I think these might even go more viral than like the Halo Glow Liquid Filter, which y'all know is like my favorite drugstore product of all time. But now I'm like, I don't know, these are giving them a run. I mean, they're all in the same kind of like collection, you know, the Halo Glow collection from e.l.f., but they're really good. So like I said, they should be available in store at Ulta. e.l.f. does have them on their website. I know that the blushes are already sold out on e.l.f.'s website, but Ulta does have them in stock on their website. So I'll link them down below wherever they're available. You guys can look in the description box and I will have them um, I do think they will sell out quick, but they, they're really nice. And like I said, I did see other retailers will start to have them, it said, in the summer. So it will be a while, but eventually we will get them more places too. All right, so that was, I mean, they're amazing. I do want to try some stuff from this e.l.f. American Eagle collection. I did think this was really cute. At first I was like, that is an interesting combo, but it's cute. I really do like the makeup bag. So it looks like a little pair of jeans, which is adorable. There is a lip balm in this collection, which I wanna try that out because I think it's like color changing. There is a clay mask. I'm not gonna try this out because obviously I already have all this stuff on my face, but there is this get cheeky clay mask. And interestingly enough, it does say you can use it on your cheeks, on your face and your bum. So interesting <laughs> if you wanna try it. Um, and then there is an eyeshadow palette, which looks like this cute with the little tag. Um, and it is lots of blues, which if you guys watch my channel, you know, not exactly my favorite type of shade, you know, color choice. I'm very neutral girly. We do have some neutrals up top and the lots of blues, obviously, you know, it makes sense. American Eagle, the jeans, I get it. So we're gonna try this out and see. And the lip balm too, because I figured might as well throw them in here since they're newer from e.l.f. as well. Okay, so let's start with the palette. This is retail for $16. You get 12 different shades, mix of mattes and shimmers, and a nice mirror too, which not all e.l.f. palettes come with a mirror. Actually, I feel like the large majority of them don't. So I do like the mirror because I'm the type of person where I need to like be like this when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I love a good mirror in my palette. I'm gonna go in the shade Cargos first. I'm gonna just set my eye area with some powder before we go in with the eyeshadow. Let's go in with this. This is like a cool toned brown. I'm gonna bring this into the crease, buff it back and forth. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. I feel like you're a little far. And I know with this palette, it's available on e.l.f.'s website and then it's supposed to be available in American Eagle stores, which is interesting because I don't, I don't think they have makeup typically in American Eagle stores, but I could be wrong. Next, let's go in with Corduroy. I'm starting to see the, the pattern here. We have like, you know, jean type names or not jean names, but you know what I mean. Fabrics, I guess, and different things that would be unique to American Eagle. I'm gonna work this into the crease. I do feel like with these first two shades, they're not bad, but I feel like they are a little bit patchy. Like I feel like I've used better eyeshadows from e.l.f. I don't know if it's just like me and my blending is off today, but I feel like they don't go on as seamless as I would have expected them to. I'm going in with a clean brush now to kind of blend them a little bit more. They are two matte shades, so I'm gonna go in with like more of a shimmery one next. Okay, wait, I lied. We're gonna do a shimmer, but we're gonna do one more matte shade first. I'm gonna go in with indigo because I wanna start to bring the blue in and then I wanna use one of the blue shimmers. So this is like a matte blue. I'm gonna put this in the outer corner. I'm gonna just pop this in there first and then we'll go in and blend. This one is pretty pigmented. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and start to bring it in the crease a little bit and just blend out the harsh edges. Okay, the blue I do feel is blending a bit better than the browns were. I'm gonna go in with two dye for, and I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna press that on the lid. Ooh, this is pretty. I don't really like blue eyeshadow that much, but this is pretty. I gotta give it that. With the shimmer, go in on the other eye too. In the inner corner, I'm gonna go in the shade 90s vibes, and I'm gonna bring that in here. Ooh, okay, wait, this is really pretty. This is a lot more shimmery than I realized that it was going to be. Maybe I will bring this like further in because it's so pretty. This one's more of like a glitter. So I'll bring this in a little bit further to really let it shine. I am getting a decent amount of fallout. So I probably would say that if you're gonna use this palette, do your eyes first, then your complexion. But this glitter is really pretty. I'm gonna just dust some of that fallout away. I'm gonna go with this matte white. The shade on this is high rise. So cute, I'm just gonna pop that into 
my brow. It's definitely very like light, like not super pigmented. It looks pure white in the pan though, but it does have a little bit of a bluish undertone to it too. I feel like the mattes in this palette are just a little wonky. I don't know, but the shimmers were really pretty. I want to use the shade Bell Bottoms because it's like a swirl. I'm going to put my finger in it. Oh, that looks cool. Like it literally created the swirl on my finger. All right, just swirl my brush in there. I'm gonna use it on the lower lash line and just buff that down there just to finish off the look. Okay, threw on a little more mascara and eyeliner. Honestly, I'm probably a little biased because I don't really love blue eyeshadows. If you watch me, you probably already know that. Like it's probably my least used eyeshadow color and obviously that's what this palette is more so made for. I do feel like e.l.f. had better palettes. Some of the mattes, I didn't really love how they applied. The shimmers, however, were very pretty. So for me, it's not a palette I'm gonna reach for frequently. If you're a big American Eagle fan or you really love blue eyeshadow, you'll probably like it more than I did, but it wasn't my personal favorite. But I feel like the look we created did come out pretty. So I like that. Now let's try this lip balm. This is what it looks like. So it's literally blue, clearly it's Theme. And says you're supposed to apply one to two coats, then press the lips together to activate. Wear alone or under lip gloss. So it's basically like a pH changing lip product. I do have some lip stuff on, so let me take it off. So although it looks blue, it's not gonna be blue once it's actually on the lips. So let's go in and see, okay. So far it's just like clear, honestly. Rub my lips together. <laughs> Did it change? I'm like, uh, am I doing this wrong? Yeah, one to two coats, then press lips together. Okay, it's changing a little bit. I do feel like it's a little bit darker now. It's really just more of like a lip balm that has a very, very small tint to it. Like I'm gonna just put it on my hand to show you. Okay, I feel like on the hand you see it a little bit better. It's not fully clear. It's like a very cool toned pink. And I do feel like that's basically just what it put on my lips. A very light, like cool toned pink. I mean, it feels nice, but it's like, won't have any like significant sort of color shift or anything like that. This one I believe is already sold out though. So clearly people like it. I, I don't know. <laughs> to me, the standout slam dunk are obviously these, like these are incredible. Highly, highly recommend. Um, so yeah, that is everything you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have everything linked down below as always, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.